Hey everybody, welcome to another What the Heck Wednesday. Um, this week I'm going to be doing my video on whey, and really that just includes whey protein, whey protein isolate, um, and just any type of form of whey with another word added onto it. Um, what I wanted to do is just let you know if it's gluten free or not, and this was actually brought to me by someone on Twitter that were just wanting to know. And um, from the research I did, um, all of it is gluten free, like any type of whey you find. And even though the word sounds close to wheat, it has nothing to do with wheat. And it's actually a protein um, in milk, which it goes along with casein, and it's just a protein in milk that has nothing to do with wheat. And so any type of whey, whey protein isolate, isolate uh, just whey protein or whey in general is safe if you're gluten free. Um, the only thing that you would have to worry about is if you're buying it in a powder or if it's in just a product, then it, there's chances of when this ingredient's made is there's uh, cross contamination with other wheat product or wheat derived ingredients, and that would be the only thing you'd have to worry about um, with this ingredient in the powders you buy. Um, what it actually can be used for is if you if you still have dairy. Um, you can actually use it as a what, to replace flours in like baking and uh, gluten free, just things you make, and it actually it's pretty good for replacing the gluten in um, just something you bake. So basically, any type of way you don't have to avoid, which um, unless you're worried about cross contamination, then just look in the product you're buying, look into the cross contamination more. And if it's made in a facility that has other wheat products and all that, which you'll probably know about. Um, so yeah, that pretty much sums up way for my 8th What the Heck Wednesday, and I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching.